All right, you guys are back. I think I just cleaned out my inventory of a bunch of trash. Uh, another thing, I'm looking at my notes here, that I wanted to try and make is this heart lantern. Now, that is, that's actually going to be something that we could use all these heckin' extra life crystals for. Apparently, we have, a uh, we just need one life crystal and then four chains to make a heart lantern, and it does one health per second of regen. I don't know how that compares to, like, a campfire or whatever, but maybe it's a little bit better than that, but hey, at least we have a use for these, uh, life crystals now, right? So, I guess we'll grab those. I don't know where chains would be on this, unless there's chains in here already. Uh, I don't, oh, I think, I think we might be able to actually make chains. Right? Let's see. I think it's like iron or something like that, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, we can make 10 at a time with just one iron. Okay, one bar, iron bar. And we need four chains to get one craft list. So I guess I'll get a few. I guess we'll get, uh, let's get like 80. So I can make like 20 of these things or something stupid. <laughs> but there you go. And boom, there it is right there. Heart Lantern increases life regeneration when placed nearby. Yeah, we definitely want to get those. And uh, I guess we'll make as many as I can, right? Eh. Let's get like 20. That sounds like a good number. We'll still have three life crystals left over in case there's any other use for those things, right? So there we go. Then we have these heart lanterns, which are going to be heckin' crazy. I want to go put those in the boss arena. Maybe even want to go rebuild the boss arena or build another boss arena because apparently... Uh, it's just way too small nowadays, to be quite honest. Like, you guys have been saying, hey, you need to make this, this sky bridge. And uh, I remember this thing was like pretty heckin' big back in the day. I think, uh, yeah, it just barely fits on the screen right here when I'm fully zoomed out, but... You know, nowadays, we have these bosses that are that, that we want to battle that are, you know, way beyond stuff like the King Slime and whatever else we took on it for. At, at, oh, yeah, the, uh, what was that, like the, no, the Brain Cthulhu we took, it had to be in the Crimson. What's the other, oh, man, there's this cloud guy. I forgot what the other thing that we took on uh, over here was, but whatever, not that big of a deal. That was like a billion years ago. <laughs> Either way, maybe we'll work on one of those things a little bit later, because I don't want to spend too much time on it right now. Speaking of boss battles, I do want to try and do the boss battle, because we do have the Mega Shark now, as well as those Holy Arrows. I definitely want to try out those, and, and the, uh, the Holy Arrows, as well as the Ecor Arrows, so. I don't know, should I, uh, should I use the Ecor, uh, I was about to say, like, if I do the bot, which one do we, yeah, the twins, right? Which one is it? Summoning items. Yeah, we can do that twice. We have the mechanical eyes there. And if we do this boss battle, we should definitely, and we have a falling star right there. You know what? I might as well, uh, so what does this look like, though, if I place down the heart lantern thing? Can I place it, like, up here, like, hanging, or, uh, I guess maybe at the top of my house will be fine? Let's see, can I, no, it actually has to be hanging, I guess, huh? Okay. Well, I guess I have to do kind of like what we did right there with the pumpkin. I guess I have to get another, like, random piece of wood or something like that, place it down, then we'll have some heart lanterns. And then, I guess we'll have to do that outside as well. We want to be battling the twins, like, relatively near our base, so let's see. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, random random piece of wood. Let's get that. As there's, like, crazy battle music or something playing in the background because it's storming. <laughs> oh, we do have a lot of wood platforms. I could probably just make a pretty simple sky bridge thing out of wood platforms. At least I'd be able to go through it if I ever need to, right? Uh, there you go. I, I'll place one there. I can place a heart lantern there. Ah, I have to place a little bit higher than that. Man! Alright, let's see if I can place it now. There we go. Alright. Oh, whoops. Get rid of that thing. So now we've got the heart regeneration thing from this. Life regen is increased, so that's good. So we have that alongside the cozy fire, slightly increased. And this one's just straight up increased. Okay. So we have the pumpkin lantern there, so, or a uh, pumpkin banner there. So I suppose we'll have to put this like here. Let's do that like right there. Can I do that right there? Nope, I think the torch is in the way. Man! <laughs> Alright, let's place it a little bit higher. There we go. How about that? Is that good? There we go. Alright. I don't know how big of a range these things are, but, uh... Yeah, it, st it still says... Oh, wait, let's go this way. How far away before that little... Oh, it just went away right there. Okay, so there's the heart lamp. We're basically... Like, right there next to that tree, essentially. That's a pretty big distance. That's about as big as our, uh... I might be able to measure it, actually. Hold on. Ruler on and off and stuff. So this is 42 blocks away, and then, like, right over here was, like, another... I'd say probably, like, 38 right there, so... 80 blocks of range in one direction, so probably 160 blocks, you know, left to right. That seems pretty huge, you guys. Uh... Where would we put the next one if it covers that much range? I guess whenever we see the heart lamp thing run out... There we go. I probably have to build these underground, honestly. Because I think right here it has to be flat if I want to do the Internia crystal stuff, right? So, I guess we'll, uh... There we go. Build some, uh... Is that big enough for that, though? Oh, it is! Okay, so that's good. So we just build two little, uh, slots underground right there. And I assume it does it the same vertical, too. Like, if I fly all the way up in the sky... Say, uh, oh, wait, no! Oh, it just went away right there. Ooh. 
Well, I'm, I'm, if I'm going to fly in the sky, I'll eventually fall down, right? So, I don't think it's that big of a deal if it runs out. Uh, while I'm in the sky, because I'll just come back down and get the healing effects. Then uh, we'll do another one right here. And this seems relatively simple. Uh, I think I'm going to do the same thing with those banners too, by the way. Just because why not, right? But we have this Amarok thing. I guess I'll use the yo-yo. Just kind of test it out a little bit against these guys. And of course, we want to get the sharpness and all that kind of stuff before we do this battle. I'm not going to be just doing this battle just randomly like right now. We've got an angry cloud guy at us. Oh, we got him right there. That's good. And another angry cloud. Yeah, it seems like these guys only spawn whenever it rains, which <laughs> makes sense because they're a heck of a cloud, right? <laughs> and I guess I'll continue building some over here where we have the boss arena. The old boss arena. I guess I'll keep it still alive because I don't want to just get rid of it, right? Uh, we can still It still has its uses, I guess. So, uh, at least it'll be kind of a little bit of a relic. I'm trying to see. Oh, man. It extends all the way beyond that. Goes all the way out to about here, and then I'll probably stop. Oh, 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 what are we getting? Oh, it's a, it's eye guy. Hold on. Oh, and there's a cloud guy above us too, spitting on us. <laughs> there you go. And about right here. I'm mean, like, it doesn't need to be exact because, of course, I think it goes both directions there. So I think it needs to be exact. Bill needs uh exact length. There you go. So now we've got a pretty good uh, area here that's covered by the uh, heart con or not heart container things. Uh, what are they called? Heart lanterns. We have a pretty good area here covered by the heart lanterns. I may even place them up because, uh, let's see, even place them like here. Uh, I guess I, I, if anything, I could probably hang them on the platform there or maybe. I'll, oh, yeah, I, we have so many left over. We have 14 left over. That'll be perfect to put on the sky bridge thing. It'll cover a huge amount of area for us. I'm sure. Right. So either way, uh, so we have the Daedalus Stormbow up there. I guess we can put that next to the I don't know if we'll use the demonic flying knife for this uh, this battle here. Maybe I will. I'll probably still keep it. Uh, I guess I will get rid of the whip thing for right now and then I'll put that there. And uh, I still have the Gatligator. I need to sell that thing. <laughs> Let's go sell it over here, and then I guess we'll uh, do the battle here in just a moment. So, let's go over to Jane. Actually, hold on. Wasn't it, uh... Yeah, it was the guy over here that, that gave us the best prices, right? Yeah, let me help him out. He's actually getting killed. There you go. Get some sharpness. Just gonna help us out against those guys, specifically. Let's see. What was it? Oh, yeah, I was gonna uh, sell the Gatligator for seven gold right there. Not bad. There you go. So, uh, I guess I could drop uh, some stuff here. And then, uh, I guess I'll prepare for this battle. And I think we're going to be good to go. A pretty good amount of Ecor bullets, Ecor arrows. And of course, if we run out of those, we have uh, endless amounts of musket balls that we could use. And then of course, holy arrows, which may even be arguably better than the Ecor stuff. It's just that, you know, the Ecor thing drops to defense. So it's going to be a little bit easier to go up against these eyeball guys. And then uh, for melee stuff, we have, yeah, the demonic flying eye, which it's, 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 it's a weird thing where it's like ranged melee, you know? have control over it, and I think, uh, how, how, how much range does that have, though? I can make it go all the- look at this! This is crazy! And it's pretty fast, too, like, it can make it go up against the, uh, train dummy right there, it just kind of bounces around, stuff like that. It's, of course, it's bouncing all over the place, I don't have that much control over it, but it's kind of crazy. Like, look at that. So, I guess we could keep that in our hotbar. Is that Amarok? Maybe if I had the yo-yo, and then I had the- I think we have two Amaroks, right? Maybe if I had the yo-yo bag? I'd use that, but I, I think I'm going to take it out of the hotbar, at least for right now, just to make sure, you know, I keep everything I need in the hotbar, just so I don't accidentally select anything. Don't don't think I need a pickaxe for this. Maybe I'll use the fetid magnax things, which, by, by the way, I got comments saying, hey, you could just call them, like, tiger claws, because uh, apparently this is, like, an Indian thing, and they're, it's kind of like a reference to, like, tiger claws, I think. I don't know. I don't have the comment in front of me, unfortunately, but I read that a little while ago, and it's in my notes here somewhere. I don't know where. But, yeah, I guess I'll just call them tiger claws from now on, and... Then we have the magic mirror, which is fine. Then we have healing potion there. I guess everything else... Oh! If anything, we should make some potions. We'll grab the regeneration potion. I guess I'll grab two, just in case. If I want to grab some iron skin thorns, uh, I, I guess I'll grab that thorns. It sounds good. There's iron skin right there. We have two of those. So that's, that, that's really good. Then, of course, we have the 30 greater healing potions up there, which is awesome. Oh, what about, like, a gravit... I mentioned it a while ago. Where are the... There's the teleportation. Yeah, we have a gravitation potion here. If, we, if we're going up against the eyeball guys... It might be really good to evade them if we have the gravitation potion there. Ooh. I don't know. Maybe we have two eyeballs. We have two mechanical eyes. If I feel like we could use that, maybe I'll use it on the second turnaround. Oh, and then accessories. What accessories should we take? Hold on. Let me let me clean up my inventory. Some of this trash. <laughs> oh, if anything, yeah, the hard cross necklace increases length of invincibility after taking damage. That may be pretty good against these guys. I think I said, oh, it's going to be good for boss battles, and I completely forgot about it after that. Ooh. Don't we have another thing, like a B version of that or something? Or maybe I looked at it and I was like, ooh. 
Wait, the hard, yeah, we already have the hard, uh, or the warrior emblem. I don't think we need that one. Yeah, I don't know what we did with the other one, if we did have a, another one or not, but, uh, we have the hard, hard cross necklace. What should we potentially replace over here with it? The warrior emblem, maybe? Like, how often am I going to use melee during this battle with the eyeball guys, which, like, shoot lasers and stuff? Oh, a a a frame the, uh, traveling merchant is here. Maybe I'll get rid of this. Or at least just put it up for right now, temporarily. I guess I have to actually put it up, or just put it in my inventory. So that's going to save us a little bit. So after we take damage, we have like an invincibility frame. It's going to last a little bit longer with the hard hard cross necklace. Now I don't know if I'll, I'll modify it. I think the plus one defense right there is fine. I don't care about getting rid of the 4% critical strike chance right there. It's not too crazy. Uh, but of course, that's really good if we're using melee. But I think we're going to be using pretty much exclusively uh, range against these guys. Yeah, we're doing like 110 or something with that with the tight claws up here up to 90 or down to 95. Down to 63 with the demonic flying knife. That doesn't really matter too much. Do we have anything that can buff uh, range though? I do not think we do. There's another thing from the Wall of Flesh called the Ranger Emblem that that increases range damage by 15%, similar to the Warrior Emblem that increases for melee damage. There's also a Recon Scope that uh, increases range damage by 10% and range critical strike chance by 10%. And then a Sniper Scope. Yeah, I haven't seen like any of these things. So yeah, I don't, I don't think we have uh, anything that can buff range stuff, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. But I guess we're pretty much set for right now. We have the pumpkin pies, which I probably should have got more of while it was still Halloween, but whatever. Or uh, pumpkins, I meant. Let me just get the uh, iron skin regeneration thorns. Let's get that going. Let's get our uh, stuff over here. Uh, there you go. Oh, and then I also got comments saying that similar to the spider staff. Was that it? No. That's the spider staff. That's my own uh, personal like pet or whatever you want to call that. Uh, that's that's for me. I also got a comment saying I could use stuff like the flame burst cane, the lightning aura cane, like normally, like a like a spider queen cane thing. So I suppose I could place those down. It takes like actual mana of mine, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. And I'm sure I'm only able to place down like one. So if I did the boss battle like right here where the Eternia crystal basically is, which I probably will to be quite honest, let's just face facts. Like if I place it down like right there, boom. Uh, it didn't take any of my mana. I thought it did. Didn't it say you had a mana cost? Yeah, use a 10. Oh, okay, I just probably didn't notice it over there. <laughs> we have 200, right? But yeah, so we can place one down. I guess it'll, uh, it'll, it'll do 54 damage or whatever to the uh, eyeball guys. I just need to stay near the Eternia Crystal and stuff for it to actually shoot. And of course, if I have another uh, sentry like buff type thing, I think we have one somewhere, right? Not that. Oh, it was like a piece of armor or something like that, I think. Uh, if we have one of those, then of course we could actually place down a second one, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's go get some more buffs. The sharpened thing with the Bewitched. Let's get the sharpened again. Let's get the Bewitched again, let's get the Swiftness over here, as it just... I think it just turned... No, it, it's been daytime for a little while, it just turned to regular not raining time. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this battle, you guys! We've been preparing uh, for a little while now, let's do the mechanical... Oh, oh do we have to do it at... I think we have to do it at nighttime. <laughs> right, right when I remembered. I think we have to do it at nighttime, like if I... Oh, whoa! Yeah, look at that thing, it's actually shooting at stuff. <laughs> Killed a slime! Yeah, I can believe we got that these things are... Uh, like, I, I, I thought you could only use it for, like, the Eternia Crystal and stuff like that. At least it's not killing the squirrel, so that's pretty good. Oh, it's raining right now, though. What if it, uh... Okay, I'm using... Oh, I just dropped it. Whoops. Yeah, you have to use it at nighttime. I completely forgot about that detail. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I have to wait till night. Oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we have to go to the bed, and then I'll turn it to nighttime pretty fast. I'm like, it is, uh... Oh, it's only 9 a.m. right now. Golly. All right, well, let me, let me just sleep in the bed and <laughs> let some time pass, and then wait until it's, like, 6.30, 7.30 or whatever. And then I'll see you guys here in a bit, and we can do this boss battle for reals. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, guys. It just turned to nighttime. We've got another blood moon. We need to head east to the ocean. We need to go over there. Let's go grab our bait. Let's go grab our... Uh, I don't know if we have the fishing rod on us right now. Man. We need to grab... Oh, my gosh. Uh... I guess I guess we could stay prepared uh, as, as we are right now to take on that, like... That whatever that thing was called. I forgot what it was called, but man, these werewolves over here. Oh my god, they're killing our NPCs and stuff. A hundred werewolf killed. Nice. There you go. I just need to get some fishing rod and some bait, and then we're good. Well, at least these guys are doing well over here. Uh, let's place down one of these things. There you go. Get one of those going. Hopefully we'll be able to defend our base a little bit better than me over here trying to... Oh, 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 eyeball over here. I'm like, I've got the tiger claws and stuff over here, which is great. Uh, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put that back on, get the defender or uh, warrior emblem or whatever. Get the 15% more uh, damage. That's going to be pretty good. And then uh, we need to get the bait. Oh, my God. There we go. Kill these guys. We need to get the bait, which would be butterflies. Grab, like, every butterfly. There we go. And there's another werewolf right there. 
Then we grab... Why the fish rod on us right now? No, we have the bug net on us right now. Man. Let's grab the tools. Where's the fish rod at? There it is right there. Flesh catcher. Let's get that. Boom. There you go. Alright, let's go. Teleport to the uh, eastern side of the map. Save these guys real quick. There you go. Nice. Oh, if anything, uh, do I want to bring one of those regeneration things? Maybe I will. I, I guess I'll bring at least one. And then that'll, that'll help us uh, regenerate on the other side of the map. Where did I put that, though? In tools, I think? Yeah. Then tool. I guess we grabbed two. Sure, why not? I just <laughs> accidentally grabbed two right there. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go over here. Let's go to the ocean pylon. Boom. There you go. Nice. So we're going over here to the ocean. We go to sleep. Or, uh, not sleep. Go fish. <laughs> and let's see how we do over here. So we get the flesh catcher right there. Let's go fishing. There you go. All right. Oh, if anything, we should probably place down, uh, there. Get one of those going. And let's go fishing some more. And I guess we'll zoom out in case anything happens here, you guys. So let me just continue fishing during the blood moon. Oh, it's another one of those worm things. Whoa, we did great damage to that thing right there. Holy. Let's see if we can kill it with the tiger claws. One more hit. Oh, it's down right there. Nice. We did a great job. I don't even know if I got the killing blow. It might have been that, uh, that thing right there. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see, you know, because it's nighttime, everything's black in the background. Couldn't really tell what what, what actually killed it right there, but I, I need to continue fishing here in just a moment. We'll just kill some of these things. There we go. Nice. All right, well, let's place down uh, the regeneration things, too. Uh, there we go. Get that going. Boom. So we can get some regen over here if we ever need it. And let me continue fishing. And let's see what we get this time. Oh, the Hemo Goblin guy is back. He's back. Uh-oh. Hold on. I'm going to get him with this thing. Oh my god! The Daedalus Stormbow shooting arrows out of the sky with the Ecor stuff, I think that was. Hold on. Oh my god, his blood spit right there. Ugh. Let me go in here. Let me get this demonic flying knife to go take him on, hopefully. Oh my god, Jake the Pirate's dead now. We're doing some damage with the heckin' flying knife right outside. He's trapped. He can't get us. And, and looking at the, uh, the, the tower thing right there is killing him, too. <laughs> this is crazy. This is cheesy as heck. There we go, we killed him there. Nice. All right. Man, well, we lost Jake the Pirate, unfortunately, so that sucks. We're killing mummies and stuff over here. That that, that NPC or uh, that, that Defender Tower thing is doing a great job. There we go. And uh, I guess we'll continue fishing some more. <laughs> so let's see. What else are we going to get? So that's two Blood Moon bosses, like, pretty much back-to-back -back right there. That's crazy. Unfortunately, I'm going to wait again until uh, nighttime until we can do the heckin' eyeball battle again, but whatever. At least we're killing these guys. Maybe we'll get the Nautilus guy next. Oh my god, another Hemo Goblin guy. Hold on. Gotta use the same strategy as last time, I think. Let's get the flying knife. Let him get killed by the heckin' Defender Tower right there. Holy heck. This is such a cheesy strategy. But how's it feel for the tables to turn? This guy killed me like a billion times that first time, and now we're killing them no problemo. Boom. Oh, whoops. Called it too early. Boom. There you go. Now he's dead. <laughs> Kill those cloud guys up there too if I can. Hold on. Oh, we got him. Demon Eye Banner. Killing all the- Look at this, this, this flying knife is crazy, you guys. It's like a yo-yo. But of course, I have a little bit less control over it, and it's not as ranged as the yo- Or, a, you know, it's not like stuck to a string, I guess you could say. Hey, there's a pirate map over there. That, that someone's in like a pirate battle, I think, right? I guess if we could do that, that'd be pretty fun too. Whoa, 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 what was that? I just got some sort of like weapon right there or something. I don't know what actually it was. Hold on, I need to see it again. Gotta kill these guys. There's a lot of stuff here. All we have is just Simon over here, and he's not really doing that good of it. And it, yeah, whenever you just click too, it does like a, a boomerang sort of thing right there, which is pretty cool. But uh, do we? Yeah, we still have the regeneration going on over here, so that's good. We got the heart land. Yeah, look at that. Did you guys see how fast we just regenerate right there? That's crazy. Let's get all this heckin' money here. I'm pretty sure we got a lot of money at the bottom of the ocean. I guess we'll go check real quick. Oh my god, look at all this. Six gold and blah 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 and jellyfish there. And of course we have the Mega Shark too. I don't know if I want to use it. If, if, if the uh, Nautilus thing spawns in, we'll use the Mega Shark. And we'll see how that thing fares. But uh, it's only going to be nighttime here for a few more minutes. So let me continue fishing here, you guys, and see what else we can spawn in during the Blood Moon. Oh! Oh my god! There it is right there, shooting it with the, uh, the Mega Shark. I can't even zoom out right now. Oh, go indoors. Oh, no. No, that's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. Hold on, I just want to zoom out. There we go. We're zoomed out. Where is it? There it is right there. It's, like, in the ground. I can't... Wait, what happened to it? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Lowered its defense. It's, like, spitting blood at us. Hold on, let me get it with this. There we go. Hit it with the... Oh, no! Oh, it's, like, circling around and stuff. There we go. Hit it with the arrows there. Maybe get it with the Daedalus Stormbow. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, and it's spinning. Definitely don't want to be near it when it's spinning. Let's get some healings going. Boom. There you go. Oh, let's get it again with the Mega Shark. We have to make more ammo here in just a moment, though. I don't know how it's doing health. Oh, it's, I think it's like a half health or something. I need to get our uh, 
Defender Tower thing back, though. It just despawned, unfortunately, but we're doing a great job against it right now. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want to get too ahead of myself here. I think he's spawning in some sort of creatures to defend him. So we need to watch out as I'm watching to make sure I don't get hit by his heckin' projectiles and blood spitting stuff. Oh, we got the Dreadnoughtless down! We did it! Holy heck, that was crazy! Yeah, what are these things right here he summoned in? They're still here. I'm, I'm using my ammo on him, unfortunately. Oh! Oh, I got died. I got... Pff, I got died. <laughs> I got killed by the bloodshot. Hey, at least we killed the thing, right? That's good. We still have about an hour left in game until it turns to daytime, so that's good. Unfortunately, man, we lost all that Ecore ammo that we made there. And, uh... Yeah, that's all, all the Ecore bullets are gone. Some other stuff happened. I don't know what, but uh, let, let's go back to the ocean biome over there. There you go. Whoops, that didn't work. Uh, not enough vill- what? Not enough villagers! They're all dead over here? What? I can't teleport? Hold on. Is it because there's like a lot of enemies or something? Yeah, well, it actually won't let me teleport because I guess so many NPCs died over here while I was gone, maybe? I thought they- like, this didn't even load in when I was gone. What? Where are all the NPCs? There's one here, there's one there. They just need to have two. And there's one- yeah, look at that, we have Grodax, he's still there. What is it talking about? I just want to go back there and see what the, the Dread Nautilus guy dropped. But I can't do it, unfortunately. It's not letting me. Hold on. Oh, there are not enough villagers near that pylon. Yeah, because the uh, Jake the Pirate died. I forgot about that. Man! Yeah, that's probably why we need to get a third guy. Just kind of cover for that, you know? But I guess I'll make my way over there real quick. Uh, on my unicorn. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Let's see, which, which button is it for the unicorn? It's not that. No, it's this. There we go. Nice. All right. <laughs> Let me go over there on my unicorn, you guys. And it's, yeah, oh, yep. It just turned to daytime, so the blood moon just expired. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But, uh, hey, at least we finally... Is there any other enemies that we have not fought during blood moons? We took on the Hemogoblin, like, multiple times. Like, two times during that. So, that's one. I think there's four enemies in total. Uh, we took on the Dread Nautilus just a moment ago. That's two. We took on the uh, the worm guy at the beginning of the Blood Moon. That's three. I don't know what the the, uh, the fourth one is. Hmm. Uh, maybe I have to go look it up or something like that. But let's go back to that base because I don't want to wait for another pirate guy to spawn in and then we can teleport. So I guess I'll just go over. There. Oh yeah, and then we still need to make a base over here. The heck in winter, guys. <laughs> but yeah, let me head over there. Let's see what the uh, the guys are. Oh, if if oh, if I was able to pick it up, it's probably at the Void Vault or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I got enough time to actually like technically pick it up. You know. So I don't know if it's even in the Void Vault, so I guess it's just safe to go back there and just check manually, right? So, let me just head over there real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back. Just the right- oh, 16 gold right there. Man, I dropped a lot of gold when I died, didn't I? Sheesh. How much do we have right now? Yeah, 35. We probably got a pretty good amount of that from the actual battle itself, so I guess we'll zoom in a little bit. Grab, a uh, whatever else we can pick up over here, as well as my gravestone to make sure I don't heck Let's see. Hey, the t oh, t oh, the guy died too. What? I guess Trent died. And now we have Tanner, so that's cool. Let's see if I can get that. There you go. We got that back. Golden Cross Gray Banner. Yeah, I guess whatever was over here that it dropped. I saw it. Something came out. I don't know what it was, but I guess we picked it up, so that's good. So I guess we could teleport from here to there. We got a mummy mask right there. There's a bunch of hacking money over here too. And I guess while I'm here, I might as well put up the uh, the other butterflies I may have still in my inventory. Just in case uh, I want to go fishing some more. We have plenty of bait to use, so there you go. Oh, whoops, what happened there? There you go. Uh, we have another top hat. We have the Flame Burst Cane, which was pretty good for that battle, I think. Uh, although it, it did expire, like, midway through that. We have two pirate maps that we could do. I don't know if I want to do a pirate invasion, like, right now. I kind of want to get the uh, the third eyeball guy killed first. Just so we could actually get that out of the way, you know, but... For right now, so we'll just collect whatever money be uh, maybe at the bottom of this. There you go. I guess we'll go back home. And I guess uh, I'll have to wait again. <laughs> for the heckin' pirate battle, or, uh, jeez, for the heckin' nighttime to happen, and then we could do the, uh, the other boss battle against the eyeball guys, so, uh, oh yeah, let's go check the void vault real quick before I do that, and maybe by the time we're done looking at all the stuff here, we'll actually have, uh, oh, we could do another, we, we have another bloody tear, so we do that, there's the un unpleasant hemorrhax, I think we already had one? I don't know, I, I might, it sounds familiar, but it may be because I looked up what the, uh, the hammer, what was it called again, the hemo, Goblin. I looked up what that thing was a while ago. I think some of these things were already here beforehand. What was that one thing that I saw? I'm pretty sure I saw like a big thing. I don't think it was this, was it? Because it, it looked like the Dread Nautilus itself dropped something. I don't know what it was though, and I'm not seeing it here. Maybe I'll go back in my footage and check. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, I just looked at the footage right there, and yeah, there's like a big chunk of the Dread Nautilus on the ground. I thought it was like an item. And I didn't pick it up because I guess it was just like a piece of the Judd Nautilus that I, whenever it exploded, there were pieces of it went flying all over the place. 
But yeah, I, I guess it wasn't anything too crazy. We didn't really get anything from it, unfortunately. Blackbeard the pirate. Hey, that's a pretty good uh, pirate name. But either way, uh, we still have a little bit of time until uh, 9.30 a.m. Yeah, we still have quite a lot of time until it's nighttime, so... Hopefully whenever it turns nighttime here, whenever I come back from this pausing of the recording, hopefully uh, no blood moons, no shenanigans or anything like that, and we can actually do the twins battle for realsies, so... Let me just pause, do some more uh, further preparations that I may need to do, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit, where it's hopefully going to be nighttime with no blood moon. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in just a bit.